broadcasters, especially public broadcasters funded by taxpayers' money, should put uh, their action behind their words. FIFA is threatening a broadcast blackout of the Women's World Cup in Europe's top soccer nations, complaining of the media's disappointing offers for the TV rights. FIFA president Gianni Infantino called the low bids a slap in the face of the players and all women worldwide. They rightfully criticize uh, football organizations or other sports organizations uh, for uh, uh, not paying equally women um, and men or not having the same prize money. Well, we need to generate these revenues and they should help us because otherwise we'll simply not sell these rights at these undervalued prices to them. Mm -hmm. And, uh, well, the European public will not be able to watch the Women's World Cup, which after the success of the last tournament in France, after the success of the Euro, would be really, really a pity. The big five European nations which would be impacted are Britain, Spain, Italy, Germany and France. On Monday, Infantino said broadcasters had offered $1 million to $10 million for the rights, compared to $100 million to $200 million for rights to the Men's World Cup which he argues doesn't make sense. When you look at the viewing figures of the Women's World Cup, you compare it with the Men's World Cup, it is not 100 times less. It is maybe, the, the Women's World Cup is maybe 50 to 60 percent of the Men's World Cup. It doesn't make any economic sense because the viewing figures are there. According to a FIFA audit of the tournament, some 1.12 billion viewers tuned in to the 2019 Women's World Cup in France across all platforms. Due to the time zone difference this year, with the tournament being co-hosted by Australia and New Zealand, Women's World Cup matches will be held outside primetime viewing hours for European markets. But FIFA's president said that was no excuse. But still it is played as of 9, 10 a.m., so it is quite a, a reasonable time. The Women's World Cup starts July 20th.